It is often said that grief connects us all, but there are many different stages experienced and ways to cope. Tonight, in the first of our two-part series on grief, we share one unique way that some are navigating their pain. It originated halfway around the world and is now right here in our backyard. Lindsay Buckingham reports. In the heart of Vermilion, signs of life fill the air. But if you make your way a little past town, there's a place where only the sound of swaying trees and your most vulnerable thoughts. Hey, book, how's it going? I know you're in a better place. Can be shared. I was talking to a colleague who lost her mom, and we were talking about how hard it is. She had said she had heard about the wind phone. A safe haven for the words you've always wanted to say. You were such a good friend. I think of you all the time. To a loved one on the other side. Jody Booker knew she had to advocate for one here to honor her mom, Darlene, who passed on three years ago. Vermillion has a tree commission, so I contacted the um, arborist to talk about what we needed to do. I got the courage to go and stand in front of everybody and tell her story, tell my story, and they voted unanimously to allow me to have it here. Here is where Darlene's best friend, Bonnie, likes to check in. I think you just learn to cope. Life is never the same. And there's days that I just long for her. Talking helps. I miss you so much. I love you. Not everybody was able to say goodbye like I was. Sometimes, you know, family's out of town and don't make it in, or they it's um, a, a long lost friend that you lost communication with and you hear that they pass and, and you lose that connection. And then it bothers you for so long and you have no way of getting rid of it. And I hope those people come to the phone. They make that call. Those calls have been made all over the world. What started in Japan as a way to help families of victims of the 2011 tsunami, now an international movement of healing. August 12, 2021, my son-in-law passed quickly and unexpectedly from a cardiac arrest. And prior to that, my 19-year-old son had died in a workplace accident. Daria Sherman knows grief. She's authored dozens of self-help books and is the reason for this wind phone tucked away in the Quail Hollow Park woods in Hartville. Family and friends, they come and they bring their casseroles and give their condolences. You're still in shock and then the world moves on. Yet, you don't. Grief isn't linear and it comes in waves and a lot of emotions flare up. With the park's blessing, Daria's other son-in-law built the wind phone, its placement among nature and all its serenity. Purposeful, the lingering words on your heart can be free and a path to acceptance can begin. Now, acceptance does not mean that you like it or agree with it. It just means that you're saying, okay, this is the way that it is. And when you get to that level of acceptance, then you begin your journey towards healing. It never quite goes away. The pain of losing her sons, Paul and Chris. The memory gives me. The wind phone offers up a bridge between the life you live now and the love you once shared. I feel the presence of my son specifically everywhere, in every breath I take, in every leaf, every tree, in all of life, in every song I hear, in the conversations. I feel him everywhere. The perfect union of grief and gratitude. They'll exist together forever. Become larger than your grief and hope will make its way. Lindsay Buckingham. Love you. Three News. 
And if you would like to learn more about the wind phones in Northeast Ohio, head to WKYC.com.